Now we play a round called Mock the Nine O'Clock News. This game involves <laughs> Zoe, Stuart, Andy and Russell. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is where we test our performance stand-up skills. We spin our news generator, it settles on a topic, and then you can volunteer jokes about the chosen subject. The winners are the people I judge to produce the funniest stuff. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is finance. Can I have a volunteer to talk about that? Andy. <laughs> British Airways, their answer to the credit crunch. They've asked their employees, can you come into work for nothing for a month or take a month off unpaid? <laughs> There's a tricky choice, isn't there? <laughs> and who is going to want to fly British Airways? The last thing you want to hear when you get on the plane, this is your captain speaking. I'm not being paid today. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing the credit crunch version of Monopoly. You know, instead of getting £1,500 from the bank, you have to lend the bank £1,500. <laughs> and then everybody keeps on going round the board with nobody buying any property whatsoever because <laughs> they always think it's going to be cheaper next time they go around. <laughs> Well done, Andy. <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is Sarah Palin. Who wants to talk about that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, Sarah Palin. <laughs> she, uh, she was uh, apparently an ex-beauty queen of a town in Alaska called Wasilla. And uh, the press were very keen on this. They kept saying, you know, the beauty queen Sarah Palin, the ex-beauty queen, the beauty queen Sarah Palin. Let me tell you something, people. Wasilla is a very, very small town. <laughs> Population eight, possibly 9,000 people at the best of times. To call it a one-horse town is to over-exaggerate the number of horses in that town by one. <laughs> they timeshare a horse with another shithole down the road. <laughs> now, my brother used to live in Anchorage, Alaska, and I have been to Wasilla, and in the five minutes it took us to drive across Wasilla, I was voted beauty queen. <laughs> Of Wasilla. It was no big deal, honestly. An otter and a caribou came second and third, was not it? I can show it. That leaves us with Stuart and Russell. Let's spin the wheel again. The next topic is men's health. Who wants to come in on that? <laughs> Russell. I went to the doctors recently uh, with anal issues. Um, <laughs> I thought I had cancer, not I can't put my CDs in order. But <laughs> it's a terrifying moment, right? <laughs> so scary, cos in your head, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And I went there and I took down my trousers. Obviously, we had a chat first, and it just... <laughs> I'm not very well. <laughs> you see that, mate? This is a chip shop. <laughs> just, you've never done it slower in your life, or just peeling them down. I got them down to about there, just heard his booming voice go, in the other room. <laughs> um, <laughs> You have a decision to make there. Do you pull them up or do you waddle with pride? Right? <laughs> you waddle, that's what you do. When you waddle, you can't help but giggle. The last thing you need <laughs> is to be giggling is poor man's going to pop his finger in your Richard because now you're a wiggling target, right? <laughs> I'll be honest, when the finger goes in, you're not laughing anymore! <laughs> you're like a red arrow! And that's the moment they chat. How you doing? Fine. <laughs> you draw the curtains, we've gathered quite a crowd. <laughs> Look at that, it's eight trim steps and he's getting violated. I'm not <laughs> Okay, sure, let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is school. <laughs> you, uh, you're looking at a very proud Canadian who is very proud of the education system in Canada. <laughs> I was horrible in school. I failed math so many times I can't even count. <laughs> I preferred French over chemistry because the chemistry teacher and I just didn't have any, um... <laughs> rapport. <laughs> One teacher said I'd be a better student if I spent less time flirting. I immediately jumped off his lap. <laughs> One teacher used to always say I wasn't very observant, but you know what? That was his or her opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to join the debating team, but someone talked me out of it. <laughs> In high school, I was voted most likely to reminisce. <laughs> <laughs> OK.
OK, at the end of that round, the points go to Zoe and Stewart. <laughs>